Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Mazatun Nazira binti Dr. Mari Rakim and I'm from BF, uh, 6 pm in one And I'm going to talk about the future of aviation weather forecasting. Okay, what is weather forecasting? The weather forecasting that we can understand it is an advanced software technology that increase the communication bandwidth that enable the accurate aviation weather forecasting based on the real-time data. We can get the right reliable information about the weather conditions is the most critical in, in components in flight planning process. With weather forecasting, it is by increasing bandwidth availability that gives the opportunity for weather data gathered by the individual aircraft based avionic system to be shared. Okay, uh, there are a few companies that helps the weather forecasting in aviation industry. The first one is the climate cell. Climate cell is a climate cell's micro weather of our uh, weather API offers micro weather data for historical real time now care zero to six hours and forecast which is six plus hours. The climate cells hyper aviation dash dashboard is a visual software product with a high definition weather map that featuring all of the weather measurement and forecasting capabilities of climate cells across country that hy hypercast product, which is used in a vari variety of weather critical settings. So we, with the hypercast aviation, they can track and predict micro weather that is low to the ground and in a specific location. So, uh, but while a typical radar, they can only sense precipitation that above roughly 1,000 feet, while commercial technology senses weather from the ground up. Okay, when there is storm coming, the commercial customers can know exactly how much lead time they have by the minute as opposed to estimating in hourly blocks. So additionally, the low altitude capabilities we have mean that we can catch very lack of frozen precip precipitation that impacts on operation but is sometimes missed by other uh, tools. Okay, the other company that help in weather forecasting in aviation, aviation uh, industry is the Honeywell Aerospace. Honeywell Aerospace has uh, an app uh, named Go Direct Flight Bay Pro, which is a global planning, global flight planning iPad app, which is allowing the flight crews to create and create and file flight plans. They can calculate and compare aircraft crews mode for optimal performance and access up to the minute weather updates and airspace information. The company also, the company's weather information services, WIS, also assist the flight crew in making strategic in-flight decision by providing the up-to-date weather data along to the intended route. With the Go Direct Weather app, uh, combines the flight back pro and WIS to provide updated informa information about the turbulence, icing, and storm activity on the flight path. Path. So the pilots can see where the observation of the actual activity, as well as the forecast that can help make better decision about their flight path. So um, flights plans are normally created, as we all know, normally created several hours before takeoff. But we never know the weather condition can change in the meantime. Uh, so the pilot still need to ensure the safety safety of their passengers. With the app, the pilot can make decision about uh, the route around the storm or fly more directly on the shooter route rather than diverting in a storm head that has cleared. They can also the, to change the flight levels to avoid turbulence. So uh, with this app, the pilots can get weather updates on the ground prior to takeoff or in the air depending on their level of connectivity. The app can also be particularly helpful in situations where sudden start activity has cut up, so pilot can prevent lightning strikes and keep passengers safe from the unexpected turbulence. So to conclude the, about this topic, um, weather forecasting is important and the importance of this tool is underscored by the growing body of data that is supporting the view that the number of extreme weather events affecting airlines can only increase. 
So there is now powerful evidence that climate change specifically global warming is leading to an increased frequency of extreme weather events, including more severe storm caused by the wider temperature differences and increased convection as well as more turbulence as consequent of this and the other factor. That's all from me. Thank you.